mind necessarily. My mother died when I was 13. And not too long after that, my father abandoned all of me. Nine of us. <laughs> my entire life seemed to change. We were just engaged in a yeah, big conversation about we're, film, if, you, didn't, we're, if yes. you heard that. Okay. And we're talking to a trailblazer in the film and television industry, Frances Ann Solomon. She's a Toronto-based award-winning writer, producer, director, curator, and distributor in film, television, and radio. She's awesome. Her latest film, Hero actually began its world tour, but today she is here to talk about becoming a member of the Academy of Motion Pictures and Sciences. Before she heads to L.A., she's made time for all of us here, and we're so thankful. Good morning, Francis, and congratulations. Good morning. Thank you. How did this all come to be that you're part of the Voting Academy? Um, you get nominated by members, so I was nominated by two people that I don't know. I found out about it for the first time in the news literally. Wow. Um, then I got an email from Ava DuVernay, the, um, the director, saying congratulations. And I thought it was a joke. Yeah. Honestly, I did. But then I looked it up and it's legit. How does yeah. that, but that must, be, that must be an incredible feeling, having two <laughs> of your peers nominate you for it. Though. In the directing category. Yeah. That meant a lot to me because I, I'm a producer, I'm a writer, I'm a curator, I have a film festival. But I mean, actually to be acknowledged as a, as a, as a director, as a woman of color in this industry, um, by the highest, by the most important academy in the world is, is a huge, it, it, it really was nice. And to see the changes happening in yeah. a very old institution. Yeah, very, very old. Remember the uh, <laughs> hashtag Oscars so white, yeah. right, that was trending. So it looks like, do you believe change is finally happening? Slowly well, like, but surely. I'm kind of proof of it. Right. I am, you know, I think uh, that is obviously a sign that there's a commitment mm. because I'm a very vocal advocate of representation so but um, at the same time as you said it's an it's it's a very it's an organization that is built on you know very very you know specific kinds of values and there's 10,000 members so one or two like me or a couple hundred like uh, uh, you know of, of different voices is not I think going to make immediate difference. Mm. I but think it, that's, it slowly. It will happen it eventually. Brings the change. I think so. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a start. Yeah. How okay. do you approach this? Looking at the looking at the films, looking at the yeah, directors. we get to watch all the films. It's a bit of a secret society, as you said, but we get to watch all the films and um, and then vote. Yeah. But when, what do you? What is what is going through your mind when you're looking at these films and looking or looking at the director? What um, the director's done? What do you mean? Well, I'm, most of the time, I'm just going, "Wow, what am I doing?" <laughs> You Look get to me. vote. You Look get to me. vote on the best picture category. They did decide yes. to opt for yeah. nine films in that category. No women. So I know you can't say who you're voting for, yeah. but can you at least impart on our viewers what three films of the nine that you think they should see before Oscar time? Because they have just over a week to yeah. catch up. Which I three think films? Parasite, definitely. Mm -hmm. How come? Um, because it's an extraordinary. It's a, it's a Korean film by a director who's really crossed over and getting a lot of. A lot of buzz international, incredible director actually. Um, very, very interesting story. Um, Little Women, I do think people should watch. The script is extraordinary actually. Um, and then Two Popes took me by surprise, but it's a very different take on the papacy. So those are the three. Uh, yeah, okay, watch Irishman, it's great. Watch Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, wonderful. Um, but also look at the look at the look at all of them. They're all great. Yeah. Is there a way you think you can bring uh, uh, more variety into the films? Anymore. More people of color, different different perspectives. How, well, it's systemic. I mean, to get deep, it's actually a systemic problem. One op one way is to invite more voices. I think the actual structure of how of the academy um, has to be addressed. I think people need to be educated in in you know a wider way of thinking about mm -hmm. storytelling. I really think that's that's key as well. Obviously, more. Uh, people of color need big marketing budgets. You know, there are, there are a number of films getting made now, getting funded by studios, not enough. So it has to come from all kinds of different, mm -hmm. you know, angles. And speaking of, when you're in L.A., you are showcasing your film. Yeah. Hero. So Hero. how is that going to play out? Well, um, Hero will open the Pan-African Film Festival two days after the Oscars. So I'm going for Oscar week, but also for my film, which yes. is being celebrated in this wonderful way. It's really... It's really great. Yeah. So excited for you. Congratulations on that, by the way. Oh. Right. I've got to, now, do you have a decision? And without telling us, oh. have you made up your mind or are you going open minded going in? 
to the Oscars? Yeah. I've been watching films for two months. Of course, I know what I'm going to vote for. <laughs> I do have to vote today. Like, voting starts today. Oh, voting starts today, yeah, okay. and then it ends in a couple of days. So, But I can't tell you. He's digging. Uh, you're doing your job, and she's doing hers, too. <laughs> thank you so okay. much. Have the best time. Oh, thank you, sweetie. Congratulations again. Thank you. We'll be back with more BT right after this.